just in case you're thinking, I don't know if I can make ink. It sounds pretty involved. Uh, that's out of my comfort zone. I'm going to show you a really easy way and super affordable. Next time you go to the supermarket, you can get some beetroot and start uh, making something to paint with, draw with, make a salad, do whatever you like. You need a grater. The, the finer the, the grate, then the quicker it is for the pigment to flow out. So I'll just start grating over here. Isn't this a beautiful beetroot? Oh, I love it. Food is art. Thank you, beetroot. And if you're thinking, oh, I've got kids, I don't know if I've got time to make ink. Maybe you can hear mine in the background. This is probably the, the easiest we can make. color. Just gonna leave that here. Nice to look at and love. Um, here's our nice little grated beetroot and I'll just grab some water. So I just have some boiled water. So this is so fine and juicy you could probably just use cold water. Look at that. Oh it's beautiful. Some more beetroot in here. I'm going to use as much of it as we can. You could probably just squeeze this, wring it out, and, and start painting with it. So here we have our beetroot. Does it look good? Yeah? Cool. Mm -hmm. Here's some water. And it already looks amazing. Could you get me a fork? Mm -hmm. Any fork will do. Thank you. Maybe put this up here. Look at that. And yeah, beetroot just has such an intense, amazing colour. And this is maybe a bit short, you could really let it soak for a long time. But here I have a funnel. Mm. And my sieve. Put this in here. This is... This is the fastest batch of ink I've ever made. Could you get me some paper towel, I can? Yeah. I'm also making a mess. Oh, just looks so good. Look at that. So you could drink it. You could put it in a smoothie. You can eat the rest of it. If you want, I'll just put that over here. We're not going to drink it though, we're going to paint with it. Do you want to paint with it too? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, beetroot ink. Let's draw something with it. All right. And I've just filled some into a little, little egg cup here. And I'm going to do a pretty loose drawing. Uh, which I also encourage you all to do. Um, yeah, as we know, ink is permanent, so it's just great to lose your apprehension and fear of it just by drawing really loose and seeing what happens. So we don't deliberate over it too long. Got this really nice reference photo. The kids are doing some finger painting with this beetroot ink that we've made together. 
I can. Can you please climb down from there? Yeah. Thank you. I just draw the brush. Holly's having a look. And this is just a, a totally wonderful reference photo here. It's great shadow shapes. Yeah, you can have that. We won't give any ink to Holly. Holly's only one and a half. Do you want to do some drawing too, Holly? Yeah. Maybe you could get some crayons or something. Do you want to get some crayons for Holly Aiken? Oh, he's, he's busy. He's drawing. Yeah, so, as I often do, I'm just kind of looking around, comparing things, where is, where are these shadow forms, and that's what I love about these really contrasty, nicely lit reference images. Um, there's just, you can use all these different light forms, shadow forms, just as really clear landmarks in your, your drawing. And, and there'll often be some kind of distortion, but yeah, I really think that a lot of sketches and portraits often live from the distortion, and it often it ends up looking similar to the person we were originally set out to draw, but maybe looks like a a new person. And I also love that just the it's like oh wow, this this is like a new person that. Didn't exist before. <laughs> you want a drink, Holly? You had some tea. So it's really nice to see you there. What, what, what do you want, Holly? Hmm? You need something? You want the beetroot? <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty messy. I don't think so. Um, what was I about to say? What what would you like? Do you want to drink some more tea? Yeah. Yeah? Or would you like something to eat? I can could you give Holly a little bit of tea? Do you still have tea? No. Mm -hmm. It'd be really great if you could help out and get her some. It be oh tea. You want more tea? Okay. Holly, Holly? Yeah. I can is an excellent big brother. It be more tea. Hello. So I think maybe I was just saying, yeah, there he says hello. I think I was just saying something about seeing how the, the ink is pooling. This amazing, vibrant beetroot colour that we have here. So cool. And I love when I started learning about making natural inks. That I'd be like, Ego. what? So some of this, you can use, you can use that to make ink. I, I have that in my house every week. We eat it all the time. Beetroot, it's great. And for those of you who maybe don't eat so much beetroot, yeah. you can get some just to draw and paint with. So this whole corona time has been pretty crazy time-wise for us. You be careful with that, Arvid, please. Don't make a mess with it. Um, yeah, it's been a, a pretty intense time having the kids at home and they're wonderful, uh, looking for time to work amongst time for the kids and everything else. It's so, yeah, we just have to arrange our lives differently these days. But what I love about a lot of these inks is that it's also just so kid-friendly, non-toxic. Make sure your kids are pretty responsible with their application of ink and that it stays on the table and maybe that they wear some old clothes while they're drawing. 
Boah, schau mal. Ja, Papa, du erzählst denen alles. Ich was, kann. Du erzählst denen alles, was wir schau, machen müssen. Papa. Und du meinst. Ja, I'm telling them lots of things. Papa. Ex explaining my drawing process a bit. So this is not a super in-depth video. I just wanted to show you how, how quickly you can start making ink and start working with it. And you may have noticed here I'm using my calligraphy pen that I made from an elder twig. The kids were drawing with toothpicks before. You can really improvise with all sorts of stuff. And right now I'm drawing with a brush. Oh, drawing with a paintbrush. Painting, even. Get some beetroot down here and yeah, we've in a very short space of time made some ink with the kids, started drawing and painting together. And have a yeah, a pretty cool beetroot portrait. And yeah, I look forward to sharing a lot more of this stuff with you all. In the Ink Naturally with Me class. And I would recommend all, all the way through our class together and in your practice. Whenever you're sketching, whenever you've got a moment's time, you know, I used to think I needed hours at a time to do a painting. But having kids has taught me that you can just seize the moment and take any opportunity to just take a few minutes to do a drawing. All right, I could really start getting involved with the kind of values that we got here but I think Papa. for today's purposes this is Papa. almost done. Papa. Yeah Holly and you you want some more attention too right? Papa. Yeah. Look, I'm nearly finished. Papa. Um, no because you already have a lot I'd like you to leave it please. Um, yeah this is nearly finished but you still have a lot I see that you have a lot. And this beetroot ink looks incredible right now, but it's not super light fast. But for sketchbook and just practice, I think it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with it. If you were to hang it on the wall, it would oxidize and be subject to UV light. And, and then it would change over time. But I also actually really enjoyed that with the natural inks, that they sometimes can be pretty unpredictable, the results that you get. You get some nice surprises. You can make inks from a flower that are a certain color and it ends up being a totally different color. And it's just a really wonderful way to, to get to know a color, get to know a plant. And you can create liters and liters of ink and just paint and draw to your heart's content. Boy. All right. So this is pretty much it. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to showing you, sharing with you uh, new inks, different colors, and different approaches to drawing. And have a wonderful time. And I'd love you to share your results with me. And yeah, we'll see you soon in the class. In Sketchy Art School. We're going out. Are we finished? Are you finished? Yeah. All right, we're finished. We did. I, it's not finished.